purpose of this video is to explain to you the method section of the fleecy paper. So once you pull up the fleecy paper, scroll all the way down until you see the word methods. Okay, so everything that comes before this is what's called the introduction and the literature review. You go over that in 322, in 430, you go over the methods section, and in 431, you go over the results section or the analysis. And so for the purposes of uh, this video, we're going to go over the method section. So as you see here, this particular method section talks off, talks, starts off with the population. How many people participated in the study? N represents the number of participants. But they distinguish two different groups, right? So they have juvenile male sex offenders and then male non-sex offenders. And so that's how you understand the difference in the population. They talk about their average age, um, what is the standard deviation with their age, the mean age. These are things that you'll calculate in the statistics class, the 431. They also talk about the racial breakdown, um, they, and they describe a little bit more about the people, what grades they were in, um, kind of schooling, where they were placed. In this case, they were placed in um, a residential facility. Um, so then we talk about the design. This particular design is a secondary data analysis. Um, your design options will be experimental, quasi-experimental, or pre-experimental. Um, and then they talk about the IRB. The IRB is an institutional review board, um, so we have a whole section on what the IRB board is, so make sure you check that out. But in the method section, you talk about um, what IRB board is going to approve this and, and what type of study it is. Instru instrumentation is another way of saying measurement tool. There's a bunch of words that you could use interchangeably, like assessment, questionnaire, surveys, measurement tools. Um, in this case, he used instrumentation. And, they, and really what that means is, is you ask the participants a set of questions. Those questions are called measurement tools. Um, so for example, this measurement tool here, the self-report sexual aggression scale, um, this asks them questions about that content. And they sort of talk a little bit about some sample questions, and um, they give you a little bit more information about it. Parental or caregiver instability. They tell you about the questions here. All questions were rated by the respondent as no, yes, or don't know. This is a categorical response type. You'll learn more about that in class. Here's another measurement tool that they used, and um, it had 25 questions. A lot of times people will say 25 items, um, and it had a Likert scale response form. Again, we'll learn more about that later. Another thing that you'll see sometimes under a measurement tool is they'll say sub four subscales or four factors. And so what that means is that underneath the um, overall measurement tool, they're really asking questions about four different topics. And in this case, the four different topics were quality of communication, um, the degree of trust, extent of anger, and the extent of alienation. Those were the four uh, sub-factors or uh, sub-scales under the attachment. So that is the method section for Felizzi, for the Felizzi article.